Hi, Andrew here. And today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of iron three sulfide. I've created a little table to help us out. Watch how quick and easy this is. Bam, so the first thing is we're gonna write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have iron and we have sulfur. Next to then to write down the number of atoms, that's where the subscripts come into play. So we have two irons and we have three sulfurs. Then we're gonna take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Those masses are found on the periodic table. So iron is 55.85 and sulfur is 32.07. So we're gonna write them in. So this is 55.85 and this is 32.07. And then to find the total mass of that element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row one across, right? So for iron here, it's going to be a total of 111.70, all right? And, or 0.7, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, and then, in, well, it does in terms of sig figs, but whatever. And then uh, for sulfur here, <clears throat> it's gonna be 96. 96.21. So then to find the total mass of the entire compound, which is what we're interested in here, it's going to be 207.91. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in grams per mole. And so there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to helping you with more problems. we got thousands of videos out there, not only in chemistry, but physics, mathematics, and a whole bunch of other subjects too. Take care.